What's up guys, Andy here with another episode of Tap Lab, and I'm excited about this one. I'm going to show you some Lightroom tips. Outside of these social media videos, I like to do a lot of other types of video on photography and adventuring and stuff like that. You can check out my other YouTube channel or my other Instagram to see a whole bunch more of that. I'll link it down in the description below. But with this channel, I'm teaching people how to do a lot of creative stuff on social media, and I want to continue to do that. And one of the things is editing photos. So the app that I use to edit photos is on my phone. It's called Lightroom. You can go to the app store and download it. Anyone can get it. It's free to use and it's amazing. So I'm gonna hop over to Lightroom and this is the starting screen. You can create different collections and whatnot. This is just one collection I have, I only have one. And today I'm just going to show you the basics of getting started and editing a landscape photo. So here it is, it will sort all of your photos by like month. So let me just find one that I haven't edited yet and we can work from that. This one right here in the middle is pretty cool so we can tap that to open it. And remember this is just a basic getting started landscape editing tutorial. Down on the bottom are all these options to edit your photo. I'm gonna start with the crop option. So tap on that. From here, you could rotate your photo and flip it and do all kinds of stuff. I'm gonna tap on the one on the left, which is the size. So Instagram allows for vertical photos. Their specific size is four by five, and that's the exact size. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap that. Then we can position this photo however we want to. I'm just gonna go something like that. And then hit the check in the bottom right. I never mess with the presets. I'm gonna go to light and then exposure will make this brighter or darker. I'm gonna drop it just a little there. And then I use the curve a lot. So you can tap this curve button. And then over here, I'm gonna drop this a little so that makes the darks darker. Raise this a little, make the whites whiter hit done and remember at any time up here towards the top left there's a weird looking rectangle with a line through it you can hold down on that and see the original photo versus the edited version so there we have a little better lighting i'm gonna up the contrast a little usually up the highlights a little drop the shadows a little and that's fine for the light right now you can tap on and off on this light anytime to close these panels. I'm going to go to color and this temperature one here is the big one. If you want this to be a cooler looking scene like winter, you want to move it to blue more. If you want it to be more summery, move it towards the yellow. So I'm just going to move this a little towards the yellow. That's what I usually do. Maybe like a six to eight. And then I like to add a little more green in my photos. Some people like a more purplish, but I do the green, not that much, maybe like a, usually like six to eight, I don't know, negative eight, that's fine. And then you can drop the saturation or up it. Vibrance is very similar in what that does. Also remember anytime you can tap this back looking arrow in the top right to undo, so I'm gonna undo those. And then I usually just up the vibrance and the saturation a little bit there. I'm gonna close this color panel for now and we can check the before and after. So now I'm gonna go to effects and I usually just do the vignette here. So I'm gonna move this down and you'll see that sort of creates this vignette and I just do a little bit of that. And I usually do that just to add a little more um, focus to the photo, I guess. Close that out. And there we have something that's starting to look a little better. I'm gonna go to the light again and up this contrast more. Close that panel. And then one of my biggest tips is you can go to color and tap this mix button here in the top right of the panel. And then you can tap on blue. And this will sort of let you change the color of the sky. And from what I've learned, people see the sky differently. So some people like to make this more purplish. Some people like to make this more greenish. I tend to make mine more green. 
but you can really adjust this to however you want it to be. So we got that, it's a little more green. And then you can use saturation if you want, I'm not gonna mess with that. And then lumens can make that brighter or darker. I tend to darken mine a little bit just cause that's what I like. I'm gonna hit done, close this color panel. And there we have something looking really cool. And then to finish this off, I'm gonna go to selective. And this will allow us to add layers that do different effects or lighting. So I'm gonna hit plus. And the main two I use are the circle in the middle and the square in the right. So I'm gonna hit the square. And then we can drag up or down on the screen and sort of position this how we want. I'm gonna drag up something like that, try and make it even. You can hold on the blue dot to move this around. You can hold on the top or bottom lines to make it bigger or smaller. I'm gonna do something like that. You can also grab the side of the middle line to pivot this. I'm just gonna hit undo. So this red area shows like the area of the photo that it will affect. So I'm gonna go to light, and then I'm just gonna drop the exposure on that a little. I'm gonna move that up a little. And then hit the check mark. And you can see that sort of darkens the foreground and puts more focus on the mountains here. There's another little trick that I use to add more focus to things sometimes. So I'm gonna tap selective again, hit the plus sign in the top left, hit the circle, and then with the circle tool, we start in the middle and then drag our finger to the sides however big we want. If we want it super big, we can put this on the side and then drag these out and move it in. Um, so yeah, that'll work. I'm just gonna highlight sort of this mountain area because I want this to be the main focus. And then I'm gonna go to detail and up the sharpness. So this is gonna make the mountains more detailed. Anything in this little pink or red zone is gonna be more detailed. Hit that check mark, before, after. So we got a pretty solid edit here, I like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and export it. If this is your first time editing this photo, you might have to hit a check mark in the top right, but I've already had this photo in my collection, so I don't need to do that. I'm gonna hit the up arrow with the little box around it in the top right. And then I'm gonna hit save to camera roll. And then I just do maximum available to save this file as big as possible. So it'll render and there we have it. It is exported. You can close this out. And then I could go to Instagram. Hit the new photo icon on the bottom. And there we have it, the photo we just edited. It looks a lot better than the original and it's ready to go. You can hit next and add another filter. Sometimes I mess with these. I'll do like slumber and then tap on that again and add like 25% or something like that. And you can see it just adds a little more flavor on some of these, but you don't have to do that. You can just use it as is. So there you have it, how to do some awesome edits and get started in Lightroom. I hope you found this helpful. Be sure to drop a comment down below if you have any questions. I'm sure there will be a bunch of them. Thank you for watching and be sure to subscribe for daily social media videos just like this one. Also check out some of my other social media and subscribe to my other YouTube. It's linked all in the description below. I'll see you guys next time.